So far, we created a Power Automate flow that was monitoring a SharePoint library, and every time a file was added to that SharePoint library, it was creating an email and sending it to me, notifying me that something happened there. Now let's turn the table. Now I want to create a flow that is monitoring this mailbox, capturing every email that comes with the high priority. So if that's the case, let's get back to Power Automate and create this. I click on Create. And because it's an automated flow, I click on Automated Flow. And I give it a name. And I call it Capture High Priority Emails. And I need to search for email. And there are lots of triggers. I will pick when a new email arrives. There are different versions of it. I pick version 3, which is the latest one. And I click on Create. First question is that, what mailbox is it monitoring? Well, by default, when you create a flow like this and you have a trigger monitoring an email, it connects to the mailbox related to the account that I logged in to Power Automate. So if I click on my icon here on the top of the page, the mail address that you see here is the one that this flow is actually monitoring. If you want to map it to another email, you can click on this drop down and then click on add new connection. When I click on it, it prompts me for the username and password and I can connect it to another email as long as it is on the Microsoft server. So Outlook, Hotmail, any one of those Microsoft mail servers, they all work even your corporate email, even a different corporate email that is completely out of this tendency. Uh, as long as it's a Microsoft server, it works. We can pick the folder that we want to watch. So in this case, by default, it's watching Inbox. But if I click on Expand, I can select any folder that is there. So even if I select, for example, Sent Items, Basically, it captures any email that I sent from my mailbox with the high priority. Well, I haven't set the high priority yet. But let's monitor the inbox, which is selected by default. I'm fine with this. Now, if I click on Advanced option, you will see a lot of information here. You can say any email that is sent to a certain recipient, any email that is CC to a certain recipient, to or CC, so basically any email that a certain person has received it. An email that is coming from a specific address. So for every single one of them, you can basically add an email address and it's going to filter the execution of this trigger. For this one, I want to say when the importance is high. I can say, give me only the items with attachments, include the attachments, so if you want to capture the email attachments as a part of this uh, process, you have to specifically select it. So by default, it doesn't capture the attachments. You can also set the filter for the subject. So if the subject contains a certain word or statement, it will match. And if it is not there, it will not pick it up. At the moment, we just set one filter, which is importance is high. I'm good with this. And right after this, I want to capture the email body. Uh, in the next chapter, we will learn how to capture this email body and, for example, save it in a SharePoint list or do something useful with it. At the moment, I just create a Compose action and I click on this Compose and I want to capture the body here. Now, when I click on this, you will see there is a ton of information that I'm capturing. I can have the attachments item, who, it, who the email is coming from, who is it sent to, the subject of the email, body of the email, importance, and blah, 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 and all those things. This list goes on and on. But for this one, we are trying to make it simple, so we capture only the email body. And I want to put it in Compose. Of course, you know how to do the other things, like sending another email, and it's going to be something like a 
hidden redirect of the mail to someone else. Let me just save it. When it is saved, I can go back to my mailbox and send an email to this address. Let me send it from another email address from my Outlook and recapture it here. So I go to my Outlook. I'm sending an email to that email address and subject is going to be regular email and I would call it test regular email. I just send it. Keep it in mind that I didn't set it as high priority. So I click on send and I want to send another email and this email is going to be high importance email and I can say this one is very important and I mark it as high importance and I also send this one. So I sent two emails to this mailbox that Flow is monitoring. One of them is regular, the other one is high importance. And you can see this high importance icon on the top of it. This message was sent with high importance. Now let's go back to the flow and see if it has captured any one of them. So I click on the previous page and there we go. We captured one of them which says succeeded. Let me click on this one and see what we have inside Compose. So if I click on Compose, here we have the message body as HTML. And if I scroll to the right, this one is very important, which is exactly what we were targeting. The other email does not get inside the flow because it does not match the trigger filter.